All right, what is up? This is December 31st, 2020, the last day of 2020. And uh, this is my attempt for the very first time to mod my Quamba Obsidian. This is one of my favorite fight sticks of all time. I would say this is probably the best I hesitate to say affordable because I mean it was a $200 stick and I understand that for people who uh, are not super super into fighting games that's a lot of money for a controller and you know people who this isn't a hobby for like me people who aren't collectors or whatever uh, that's a lot of money but 200 for the last generation of uh, console gaming that was quite normal for that price range in my opinion the previous generation of arcade sticks this is the best one uh, I don't have the pearl uh, there's two main differences uh, one is aesthetically the pearl is the white version of this stick so you have the white ball top white buttons white button rims white art and plexi I uh, prefer aesthetically, I prefer this. The only other difference is this is the Vulix button layout and the Pearl is the Noir button layout. I prefer the Noir button layout. I am not going to change the button layout of this stick. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the artwork out and then I'm gonna change the ball top. So for this, the artwork as Focus Attack puts it, is permanently attached to the Plexi, so you need to purchase a new Plexi for it. This is my artwork. Read Focus Attack's website whenever you get the artwork for this uh, stick. It'll tell you you need the Plexi. It will also tell you these six screws right here are covered by epoxy caps, and you need to remove those you're really gonna need to get in there and, and pop them out. You could probably do it a lot easier with something like an X-Acto knife or something like that. I don't have one of those, but I do have flathead screwdriver. So first things first, you gotta pop the epoxy off and then you'll be able to get to the screws. I believe they're Phillips head. Um, watching videos of people customizing this, uh, I, none of them go through that at all. Whenever they change out the artwork, it's already done and they don't mention it at all. They already have that step out of the way before the video even starts. That makes no sense to me. I'm gonna go through step by step. Everything that you're gonna need to know to change the artwork out in this stick. So here we go. You know, once those caps are removed, that you basically can't put them back on. So whenever you put your new artwork with the new Plexi, you're gonna have the screws showing. Do this at your own risk because, um, you know, this stick was not meant to have the artwork replaced. It was not meant to be one of those types of sticks. You will need to open the bottom of the stick as well to remove the uh, ball top so that you can actually remove the Plexi fully. Uh, this sticker will void your warranty. However, uh, the warranty on Quamba sticks is one year from the date of purchase. Uh, I purchased this stick in September of 2017. It is now December 31st, 2020. I no longer have a warranty on this stick, uh, so I don't care about the warranty sticker. You want to be careful whenever you lift this stuff up because there are wires attached. So uh, this is the wire for the, uh, the headphone jack. I'm not going to quite detach that. All right. Now we're gonna remove the ball top. So you have to unplug every button in order to get the plexi off. Um, 
makes a tighter fit, but it's not what I prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and separately I'm going to um, mark down which colors correspond to which buttons. is the Pantera Evo. Wow, this button is super close. All of these to the PCB right here. So this is gonna be a pain in the ass to actually unsnap. There we go. This is basically the time when you want to go ahead and dust your stick. So here's a little tip if you've never ordered artwork from Focus Attack. The reason why they perforate uh, the middle and the outer ring instead of just making it one circle that you pop out is because if you get clear buttons, you can put this inside of your button so that you can have your artwork run all the way throughout the buttons if there's part of your artwork that the buttons will obstruct or obscure. That way, um, you know, you can discard this outer ring and then put this in your buttons and it'll make a more cohesive artwork where the buttons don't get in the way as much. I much prefer to just design art where the buttons are just going to be solid and the art isn't going to be in the way of the buttons or the lever. I think it's going to look pretty awesome. And there you go. And you also may have noticed that there's little divots that are cut out on, uh, let me show you. You might not be able to see here, but it's on the artwork. There's these little divots right there that show you that the buttons will only snap in that way. So. Definitely make sure to pay attention to that. Don't tighten them too tight. You don't want to squeeze down too far and uh, actually crack the plexiglass. go
And there you have it. These are done and I'm extremely proud and happy with the way that they turned out. I don't think it could have gone better, of course, except for not breaking the button on the Evo Pantera. But outside of that, I think it was a success. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I know that 2020 hasn't exactly been the best year, but hopefully 2021 will be better. I'll catch you guys next time. Happy New Year.